this is um, Destination Saturn by yeah. Anonymous, and the readers will be Lionheart and Rockefeller for today. Chapter seven and eight, Biatch. These are the good ones. Oh God, cross-handed Jessica in old X X X X X X Y uniform. <laughs> Sorry, this is old. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> your C though. I think. Gross was suddenly nervous about having mentioned her size. She didn't mention her C. He had no clue what it was. Thanks, alien, said Jessica, and she casually stripped nude. Boy, Actually, the name is Gross, said Gross. <laughs> it was then that he noticed her nude form. He had only seen a naked woman once before, and that was Rick. What? A naked human oh, once. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and why Rick? Why have you seen Rick oh. naked, you fucking pervert? What, what does Gross look like? He's, I don't know, I just imagine this big tent, this fucking alien. I imagine a green alien that looks like the Incredible Hulk. I imagine it looking like one of those fucking Globetrotter aliens. Yeah. Uh, where is he? Glance to... Uh, right. Oh yeah, Jessica's body was so different, yet so similar to the female of his species. He glanced away nervously. It says, it says, it says, it says. Oh, something about thankfully. Thankfully, something, something. Okay, Gross, sorry, said Jessica, her breast jutting forward majestically. In <laughs> majestically. The light, majestically in the light of the cabin. She then put on the uniform. It looks good on you, said Gross. He noticed the amount of cleavage. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you just naked and you're fucking... Oh, God, you can't have enough, can you? I agree. You weren't. You aren't so bad, Ali. I mean, Gross. I don't know, I've got mistaken for a black boxer. For an alien, I mean. The dim-witted form of Rostov moved about as he cleaned. He took Jessica's grunge-filled, old, filthy clothes and put them in the plasma garbage. garbage. <laughs> I, knew he couldn't, I knew he couldn't keep it as garbage for long. You had to put, like, space or plasma in front <laughs> of it. It's garbage, actually. Whatever. Thanks, said Grust. You aren't so bad yourself or a human. And they laughed. They laughed over it quickly, <laughs> though. <laughs> they both laughed at this humorous moment. The actually, laugh the, the laugh over quickly because the next scene is actually pretty disastrous. Part two of chapter seven. Outside the ship, a disaster loomed. The disaster known as <laughs> space devourers. <laughs> space devourers are. Oh my are god. Are they space devourers? Yes, the space devourers are an interstellar. I know what's coming. That can devour space itself. <laughs> oh they, really? They eat space, leaving nothing behind. A space devourer was headed right towards the ship. Space devourers are attracted to star sips. The matter combustion <laughs> warp units are powered on compressed space, making them delicious to space devourers. Look out! Do, do, do. It will get you! Do, do. Doesn't matter if you run! Do, do. Wait a sec. That has no fucking theme. The space devourer ruins your fun. <coughs> Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. So we've got space devourers fucking that are attracted to starships. Because they have space inside them. <laughs> We've got Convaratians saying that people that hide in cramped spaces are bad. We've got Russians, space Russians from outer space. What's going what's going to happen next? And a space devourer that's attracted primarily to someone called Grust, who's an alien, and a Convaratism who, uh, who speaks who Russian. Recently, fall in love with a woman and lives in a ship with a man that hates him. No longer their friends, remember? Oh yeah, because he saved his life. Now for chapter 8, the most glorious chapter in literature history. I think we have to... I know, I know what song we can play, by the way. It's a Tommy Tallarico song, but it's not Earthworm Jim. Fuck you. We're, no, no, no. Hey, hey, we're, we're still reading, you know. I know, well, after chapter 8, I'll show you what it is. Chapter 8, the Sips Emergency sir Sirens Blared. A woo! A woo! A woo! A woo! Oh, fuck. Sh Rick jumped to his feet. He had been lying in his bed, dreaming of Wandia Oloa. She was just about to congratulate him, thank him for rescuing her from space pirates. Hey, that sounds his job. When the emergency alarm went off. A woo! A woo! Right in Rick's ear. He jumped to his feet. He just did that. And <laughs> checked the scanning <laughs> monitor. A space terror was headed right towards the ship. A woo! A woo! <laughs> went the alarm. And the alarm. And who cares? Rick saw the monitor. He had only 30 seconds to evade the monster. Here you go. Th you just have to imagine this by second by second. 30. Rick sat on the command conch. 29. Rick engages the throttle. 28. Rick hits full throttle. 27. The ship accelerates to warp speed. 27. 
Sorry. Did I actually hit you? Yes. Shit. 26. It's not fast enough. The monster still approaches. 25. 25. Rick Jessen's any extra cargo. This is in five seconds. 24. 24. The ship still accelerates. 23. The monster still canes. 22. Rick engages plasma launchers. 21. Rick fires the plasma launchers. 20. Plasma explodes around the space devourer. 19. The monster still approaches. 18. Rick begins to panic. 17. Rick engages the extreme boost. <laughs> Just imagine people running around in such fast motion. <laughs> 16. The ship accelerates. 15. Rick feels doomed. The devourer still approaches. 14. Rick tells Gross to operate the missile launcher. All in the space of one second. Yes. Operate the missile. I can't do it. 13. Gross operates the missile launchers. 12. Missiles impact around the beast. 11. The beast is not slowed. Still not slowed. 9 slash 10. <laughs> Gross charges the missiles to full power. How can you charge missiles? 9. The missiles charge. 8. Rick transfers engine power to the Issels. <laughs> Seven, the Issels are still charging. Missiles. Missiles, sorry. Six, <laughs> Gross fires the missiles. Five, the Space Devourer opens its mouth wide to eat the ship. Four, the missiles charge. Three, the missiles enter the Devourer's mouth. Two, the Devourer frowns. One, the Devourer explodes. Space comes from its body. Rick and Gross cheered. Not many spacers could have survived an attack from a space devourer, but they did. <laughs> Amidst the jubilation, Gross <laughs> kissed Jessica, and she smiled. She could learn to love an alien. That was quick. That was on the space of about three chapters that they fell in love. And it took 30 seconds to fight and defeat that thing. 30 seconds. Well, Ben, you have to remember that they had the power of missiles on their side. They had the power of... I can't believe the devourer are frowns. Missiles, Ben. Missiles. What, don't you mean missiles? I call them missiles. Because that's wrong. 